Check out our new iPhone application to keep track of your orchids. Link in the description box. Hello orchid friends! Finally a What's in Bloom video. It's the very end of January and I'm really glad that I have some colors and flowers. Since November it was pretty green on my windowsill and I have made a little display. I hope you enjoy it. It will be a one take, at least the video footage. And I think it looks like one of those odd paintings where multiple different genera and species are put together on the same trunk. <laughs> kind of strange. I don't know if I like it, but let me know what you think. In the second part of the video, I'd like to talk a bit about my wish list for 2017. Okay, let's get started. The first one is going to be Phragmipedium andean fire. It has been in bloom since October of last year when I got it and has produced one flower after another, sometimes two at a time. And now the flower spike is coming to an end. It has become pretty thin at the tip and the last bud blasts it. This is going to be the last flower. This is Dendrobium berry, likely odor. It's in bloom on one, two, three spikes. It has had two more. One has bloomed regularly and faded eventually and the other one dried up completely. I don't know why. And there is one in the back with buds and this one snapped off. It was in a 90 degree angle and I repaired it with some tape and it worked. The buds developed nicely. That was a surprise. And the next one is going to be a lovely Vanda species, Vanda Surolescens. I love those cute little flowers with their twisted petals and they are highly fragrant. I've had this plant for about a year. Down here is one of my Epidendrum ciliars. The buds stuck together with honeydew and wouldn't open properly. I had to help them. That's why they are a bit twisted. But it's fragrant during night time. This is Phalaenopsis equestris, the keiki, in bloom. And the mother plant has also a spike and it's doing very well. It has had those strange glassy spots in my last Phalaenopsis update video. They are gone. They have disappeared completely. What a relief. And Phalaenopsis amboinensis times Mariae. I love those striking red spots on the petals. And the fragrance is very nice as well. But unfortunately I had quite some bird blast on this one. Most likely because I bumped the balcony door into the flower spikes a bit too often. It's my fault. And Paphiopedilum Pinocchio, I have to say, I find it pretty photogenic. Especially the pouch. And over here is my No ID Phalaenopsis. I love the pastel colors and the veining. And 
and up here is my purple vanda. I don't know how the vandas managed to spike during the last two months. There was barely any sun, but I won't complain, I'm pretty happy. The brownish vanda is in bloom too. I thought it would have to grow some leaves to be able to flower again, but no. And this is Encyclia cordidra. It's the first bloom and only one of the flowers has opened properly. And down here is my little Phalaenopsis stobatiana times Bastiani. Those cute flowers have such bad, I wouldn't say fragrance, they kind of stink, <laughs> like bananas and the old socks. And Bressocatlia, yellow bird, and this time it's actually yellow. Not only pale yellow, but really yellow. The last time, I think it bloomed in September of last year. That's quite nice. I love it when they bloom so regularly. And that was it. That's all that's in bloom in January. And I have to say, finally, I really missed it. There wasn't too much in bloom since November. You've seen some in the videos, there were some in bloom, but only very few at a time, and I've noticed that I'm quite a flower addict, maybe a bit too much, because now that they come in bloom, I realized how much I missed the colors and the fragrances and their whole presence. Okay, I'll quickly go through my wish list. Last year, that means actually at the end of 2015, my very first video, I mentioned a few plants that could be considered to be on my non-existing wish list. Non-existing because I don't have very much space left. And in 2016, my collection has shrunk a little bit, or let's say only the number has shrunk noticeably, not the actual size because the rest of the plants is growing. <laughs> Mm, but I've bought none of the ones that were on the wish list because I just didn't have the chance to. I didn't visit any nursery after Schwerte and I don't really order online. That's a pity because I'd love to make unboxing videos. <laughs> but I'd like to see the actual orchid that I'm buying since they are supposed to live with me. Therefore, there must be to my liking. Sometimes a friend is kind enough to pick a plant for me so that I know that it will be a nice one. But that's only on quite rare occasions. I'd say it's time for a new wish list, and everything that stays on this list for more than a year could be considered a true wish of mine. Okay, last year's list says Cattleya purpurata carnea or Burkhäuseri or Cattleya cg rubling. I'm not sure about Cattleya purpurata anymore because an orchid friend of mine says it's quite fuzzy. I think I will keep it in mind in case I see a very nice, well-established plant. Mm, I'd like to buy a very well-established plant because I don't like to take care of a seedling for years before it blooms. I've done this for plants that I really, really like or that were gifted to me and kind of close to my heart, therefore. But mostly I'm looking for well-established ones. 
because it's already green enough here and I really want to see some flowers. What's about CG Rebling? That one definitely stays on the list. It's the most beautiful cross and blooms around Christmas, which is fantastic. The next one, Angrecum sesquipedale. This one is going to be replaced by Angrecum crestwood, a hybrid. Maxillaria rufescens and Encyclia prismatocarpa. Yeah, both nice and so on, but I doubt that I will buy them in the near future. I haven't thought about them during the year. They're off the list. Okay, what's on the list? That's Cattleya CG Rebling and Grecum Crestwood. Both quite large plants. And the first new one on the list is going to be definitely Phalaenopsis Schilleriana. I finally need to have one. I've seen so many beautiful plants on YouTube. I love the fragrance. There are propagated plants available. I will buy one if I see one with nice foliage. They all have nice foliage, but I want it to be really nice. With clear silver and dark green spots. Also, I've seen a beautiful plant on Blanca's channel, Leliocathlia Jungle Eyes. I had seen it on Danny's channel before, it was very beautiful, but Blanca's was just breathtaking. I'm quite sure I won't find such a beautiful variety here, but that plant needs to be on the list. And something orchid related, I really want to have a heat mat. I should have gotten one a long time ago. I have some very very tiny plants that are in desperate need of some heat. The thing is that they are quite expensive and I want one that is very high quality that won't put the house on fire when I'm not here. I think I should have made that a Christmas wish instead of a new microphone. <laughs> and I'd like to buy some Ceramis potting mix for orchids. That's not pure clay pebbles, it's a mixture of clay and bark. And I need some, okay, I don't need it, but I'd like to have some Velcro plant ties and some nice steaks. I think that's it for the moment. In case I visit some nursery this year, I might come across another beautiful orchid that hasn't been on my list, just because I don't want to leave the nursery empty-handed or something like that. But that's, that's all for now. Tell me what's on your wish list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, happy growing to all of you. Bye bye.